who was married for about four years or plus, she was not giving birth. Like she had no child. It was tight. They told us a lot of things. Uh, paternal auntie tied her, and yet she died while tying her. Okay. Yeah. So that's BTZ. I gave that prayer request of last year, and, and we prayed for her. We believed God. Uh, then, BTZ of, of this year, I don't remember mentioning it. Um, so, when, I remember telling Damari that, you know, she even went to which doctors, she went at when she would go there, she would come and tell us, I remember telling Damari we are going to believe God. She switched off all her phones, changed the lines, things were tight. She told me, me I can't believe God says, yeah, go and believe God alone. I am tired. The husband was also telling her things. Well, oh, oh, wait, after they did Omakuchara, the then me, the husband, said, maybe my wife is not giving birth. I think I'm waiting. They went, waited her. I, I waited her to a chang, of course, and bagaya bimbaga. After that, the guy would tell the woman, when why did I waste my money in marrying such a woman who cannot even give birth? When I'm she's of course I don't know, see it's just the yeah. Yeah, using and, English. Uh, eh, okay, okay, okay. So she was crying, like crying all the time. Mom, it's so painful. I didn't know that. Anyway, when something has not reached on you, maybe, maybe I didn't know that you're just getting married and you have not produced the, and then it's stuff. Eh? She was crying, but anyway, to cut the story short, PTZ of Rusty Yamawe, God did wonders. Mm-hmm. Why she, she also kept quiet? She got pregnant. Can you imagine? We are there still, me, I'm there still believing God that she should get pregnant. Oh God, oh God. She got pregnant kept quiet. So, yesterday, she gave birth. No, today, I'm sorry. Today, she gave birth. They operated her. I am here jumping. The lady you prayed for, Manange, Sakura, Dawa, can you remember those? We believed God for Damari. Damari gave birth. But the big girl, I thank God. I thank God for that. BTZ, Terine, God bless you. Sorry for using the vernacular. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, there's when the, uh, God does something and it, it overs you. <laughs> it is too much. And so uh, you can't just use English or whatever. <laughs> but we thank God for her dynamic in its working. And there's something we say here that the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy we believe here in this upper room that the testimony of jesus is a te- is a spirit of prophecy what we believe is that when you hear what jesus has done for somebody it is a prophecy that he will do it for another person oh yes so we now have a prophecy that somebody is also going to give birth. Somebody who has listened to this, who has listened to the testimony of what Jesus did, Uh we believe that it's a prophecy to you. This tremendous power of God that is dynamic in its working, this power. The Bible says that by faith, Sarah received power to conceive a child. In the name of Jesus, I release power to conceive right now. Name of Jesus, we release power to conceive. In Jesus' name, uh, whatever it is that has been hindering somebody from conceiving, we hinder it. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, who else had the testimony? I, I like it. I like it when we go with testimonies, sharing testimonies. Anybody else 
uh, had a testimony that I missed talking about that I missed anybody else who had a testimony Kembabazi yes Kembabazi please unmute and share your testimony yes praise God my testimony is I I thank God uh, last I think it was BTZ of February this, this year. Yes. I remember a person was praying and he was sharing with us about a certain scripture. I think I did not quote it very well, but then he said, Our situations are working out for my good. And I typed in that chat, I believe I was so anxious about my exams. But I believed and I thank God I failed. And today evening, I just received the news. I've been given on government human nutrition temple in the first year. I thank God. Ogweniwehu. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ogweniwehu. That is, <laughs> that is Jesus. That is Jesus. Ogweniweyesu. That is our Jesus. So, when I say in last night stepped when there was no money, mobile, no MBs, her desire was to log in, asked Gloria to buy for her phone, somehow delayed to process, she decided to log in by faith, <laughs> she attended the whole session at zero MBs, dynamic in its what? Working, dynamic in its working, glory to God. Glory to Jesus, the tremendous power of God. She attended the session with zero MBs. Don't ask me how that works. Uh, I don't know. Uh, and I don't want to know. Hallelujah. It is Jesus. It is Jesus. And Judy slept like a baby without a cough. She talked about, uh, I remember her talking about some disturbing cough at night and whatever. And the Lord did it. The testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Just take every testimony as your prophecy. If somebody testifies about something you're going through, take it as a prophecy. It's going to happen to me also. It's coming my way also. I'm next in line also. Hey, the Lord who has touched them is touching me also. The Lord who has done it for them is doing it for me also. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The effectual. Give us that verse again. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man. That's what I want to talk about. And I want to pray that fervent prayer for somebody. The effectual, the, the honest uh, heartfelt continued prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available now why do i believe in this prayer i believe in this prayer because i believe that i'm a righteous man <laughs> now i know some people struggle with that some people can't even mention that that uh, how can i be righteous with my life I'm going to show you a scripture and from today you believe that you are a righteous man you are a, I am a righteous man I'm very righteous <laughs> they confess your faults to one another pray for one another that ye may be healed the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much avails much now, I want you to open 2 Corinthians and I want to convince you that I am righteous and you're righteous if you're born again. That is part of our spiritual DNA. We are righteous. In our spirit man, we are righteous. Yeah. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21 says, God made him who knew no sin to become sin, that in him, we might become the righteousness of God by faith. Uh -huh. Have you seen that? God made him who knew no sin to become sin. 
there's a way these verses are coming at a slow rate for me second corinthians chapter 5 verse 21 god made him who knew no sin to become sin that we may we might be made the righteousness of god in him so let me ask a question uh that verse who is it talking about let me ask a question when they say we might be made the righteousness of god in him the we who who is the we who is it talking about who is it talking about who is it talking about Can you hear me? I'm seeing the, 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 the admin has muted me. <laughs> Who is he talking about? Eh? That verse there. Who is he talking about? The righteousness of God in him. Who is he talking about? It is talking about you. It is talking about Ephesians 4.24 Put on the new nature created in righteousness and holiness. So that new nature, you received it. I received it at conversion when we gave our lives to Jesus. So when I say I am righteous, I am speaking from my insight. I'm living from my insight. The whole concept I've been talking about since Monday. I'm living from my insight. Now, who I am on the inside has to come to the outside. The spiritual growth, my life as a believer, it's a journey of bringing who I am on the inside to affect who I am on the outside so that my hands also become righteous. So that my words also become righteous. So that my actions also become righteous. My decisions also become righteous. The way I am on my inside. Uh -huh. Are you okay? So when I start to pray, I am praying for you from who I am on the inside. Are we together? When we are saying the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man, we are praying and we are praying from who we are on the inside. Yeah. Now that prayer, it says, it makes tremendous power available. Makes tremendous power available. Dynamic in its working. So tonight, we want to make this power available as we pray. So if you have, for example, something that you are dealing with or something, you can type in the chat. And I'm going to do what are called prayers of command. Okay? Prayers of command. When you study the Gospels and see how Jesus healed the sick, he would not beg disease. He would not plead. He was praying prayers of command. He was praying prayers of command. And we want to pray prayers of command, even believing for instant healing. So some of you, as we pray the prayers of command, those kind of things will be living right away. You'll be receiving healing right away in the name of Jesus. Some of you who require to confirm your healing by doing tests and whatever, you go and do your tests and you will confirm that you have actually been healed. But, you know, those of you who have uh, pains and coughs and whatever, swellings and whatever, you will confirm that it is gone because it will be gone. In the name of Jesus, as we pray the prayer of command, you will experience um some of you might experience like heat you might experience like um sudden coldness you might experience like a fire burning on you that is the anointing of god dealing with the condition 
when you experience that the right approach to do the right thing to do is to thank god for what he is doing is to thank god for what he has begun doing and to receive it because we learn that whatever we thank god for he multiplies so when there is the slightest indication that there is a healing anointing flowing in your body you thank god for it you say the amen to it in the mighty name of jesus so this is an example of a prayer of command and and after after five minutes miriam will tell me how you will be okay in the name of jesus those pains in the chest and the stomach i command them to live right now in jesus mighty name and the spirit of infirmity behind those pains in the chest and the stomach i command it to be gone in the name of jesus i command those pains to be gone now in the mighty name of jesus the mighty name of jesus and believe god believe god believe god believe god to see a change believe god to see the power of god move right now the power of god is moving and this is the thing when you get um the slightest even if it is the i have learned that the reason that we don't actually see the full healing work in our lives is that we wait for us to have a hundred percent effect and whatever but i have learned to thank god for 10 percent change you thank god for 10 percent change becomes 20 percent becomes 30 percent change becomes 40 percent until it is completely uh, completely a hundred percent in the mighty name of jesus i speak to those pains in the left knee area david i speak to them and command them to be gone in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus disc prolapse we have seen the people healed of disc issues many times in the mighty name of jesus i command your nerves whatever is compressing your nerves martha i command it to to be healed that area be healed we send the power of god there in the mighty name of jesus and we speak healing from disc prolapse in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus becky i speak healing from that back i just command healing into that back i release the healing virtue of god into that back in the name of jesus and your daughter's cough and body pains i command them to be gone i speak healing in the name of jesus process insomnia ends this night in the name of jesus today she sleeps uh the bible says that the lord gives sleep to those he loves today she receives sleep on account of our prayer as we stand in faith for her in the mighty name of jesus mighty name of jesus mighty name of jesus uh alice you will receive your money you will receive your money in the next 72 hours in the mighty name of jesus it is done i order every system to work in your favor in the mighty name of jesus uh we speak healing the power of god to flow allergies be gone from people in the name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus hypertensive heart disease the lord that healed daffin of that heart condition the lord heals you dorothy in the mighty name of jesus i've seen the lord heal people of heart issues i speak that same power that same power has been released in people's lives that same power heals you in the name of jesus we speak healing we command healing from eczema in the mighty name of jesus son of the living god son of the living god son of the living god the bosha itching rushes that keep relapsing now and then every appointment of that infirmity with your body it is closed it is cancelled in the name of jesus and 
the pain that your mother is having and feeling in the chest, we command it to be gone. That spirit of infirmity attacking her, be gone in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we speak healing. We release healing upon you. That spirit of infirmity leaves your body, Dorothy, in the name of Jesus. I have also learned in the healing ministry that sometimes you feel worse before you feel better. Yeah, that that boy in Matthew chapter, uh, Mark chapter 9, you know, Mark 9, yeah, the one who was epileptic, when Jesus commanded the demon to leave, he first fell down as if he was dead, and then he got up and was completely free. In the name of Jesus, the Lord sets you free, Dorothy. In the precious, mighty name of Jesus, receive your healing, receive your miracle. Receive your healing. May the Lord, ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. May the Lord give you newness in that heart. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. We release these visa things. Open them up in the mighty name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. We speak every virus behind flu to die. In the mighty name of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus, ADHD, in the mighty name of Jesus, we speak against it, in the mighty name of Jesus, the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah, let the Lord restore what the locusts have eaten, in the mighty name of Jesus, people who have your money, let them pay back, let them pay back, let them call you to pick your money, in the mighty name of Jesus, the effectual just believe tonight with us that the prayer that we are praying it is making tremendous power available and this power is dynamic in its working it will work in i tell you there are people who have had you know, some of the things we don't talk about them because they are strange but somebody tells you they saw you in a dream you came you lay hands on them they woke up in the morning they were fine dynamic in its working dynamic in its working in the name of jesus in the name of jesus son of the living god thank you lord god because you this whole thing of red eyes in the country we speak we speak to that thing to be gone, to that, that plague to be stayed in the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for every testimony. I thank you for every testimony that is being recorded on this altar. In the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you for everybody that is going to really testify. You are doing some really wonderful things for somebody ah uh, somebody who's uh your nose your nose just keeps running it's like it's not flu it's not what you think it's flu you take treatment for flu and whatever but your nose just keeps running for some strange reason and the left side the left side the lord is healing you tonight in the name of Jesus, you will testify. You will testify. For some strange reason, your nose keeps running. And it's kind of irritating. And one side, the, the left, the left nail. In the name of Jesus, the Lord heals you this night, this very night. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you for this night. For what you have done, and we speak healing for Cynthia's grandfather. We speak to that liver to be healed in the name of Jesus. Speak to that liver to be healed. That condition, whatever it is, speak healing. That disease process, we reverse it in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Command those cells to work properly. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. That was prayers of command. Prayers of command. The effectual. You know, that verse, when you read it, previously it says, Elijah was a man like passion like us. And he prayed earnestly that there would not be rain for three years. 
and there was no rain. And he prayed that it would rain and it rained. Yeah, those are prayers of command. He commanded it not to rain, it didn't rain. Commanded it to rain, it rained. And we are doing the same prayers of command, making tremendous power available. And this power is dynamic. It is dynamic. Some of you, it is as you sleep, the power will get to work. Some of you, it will be in the next two days. You know, it is dynamic in its working. Just keep your heart open to any way that the Lord wants to move. You will testify. You will testify. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Hallelujah.